This is Flash at the Drop-In a Coil Show with Larry Woods and Rob Works of the Real Liberty Media dot com. Ha ha ha. Anyway, hey Grim, look at look at us. Are we on? Can you hear us? Huh? 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 How's that? And we got for the. Uh, I guess we should upgrade bodies. We could call them booties, but. I don't know. Well, I'll just stick with the old shit. The bots and bodies in the chat room for your typing entertainment are we got Barman Beetle Grimner, Moose Girl Kate Anti Anti Underscore. He's double dipping. Hmm. Asmo Circulo Hello. The Me Frumpy The Ghost of Dawn Meister Brow Prince Rob works, that's you. Trust number one. Vanna White, Weather Dark, Phantom, CC66, Chaskara, Chloe, Singular, Cyborg, Noodle, E Man, and Siv, Gromit, A Bubbler, J's Nines, J's Kiss underscore, Matt WJ2002, Ponsai, Sock Puppet, Smart Ass, and the Holy Roger. And those are the people logged in for your typing entertainment. And I believe it's Rob Works tonight that has a burning story to teach us all. Right, Rob? Uh, just a topic. Uh, uh, Take it away, Rob Works. So, um, the whole premise of the show is energy and electricity and, and stuff. So I figured we'd go down to the basics and try to I know most people have a, a general basic understanding of electricity um, and what it is, um, but most people think of electricity as something that's similar to water. It runs through wires like water runs through pipes, but most people don't have a clue what it really is, what, a, what is an electron and what's the relationship between electron and magnetism because you can take a magnet and run along a wire or spin it inside of a coil and it'll generate electricity. Or you can take electricity and run it through a coil and it'll create a magnet. Um, so I'd like for Larry to just give us a basic uh, physics lesson on what is electricity. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, that's it. Then. Flash is all you now. That's See you next night. week, that's everybody. It. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Well, <laughs> electricity is the exchange of electrons through a conductor. That's the book. Okay. That's when, according to the book, it's when uh, there are an uneven number of electrons in the outer valence of an atom. Okay, copper only has one electron in the outer valence. Therefore, according to the book, that electron jumps from one atom to the next, and that's electron flow. Well, I don't believe that, uh, okay. naturally. That's, that's or, the mainstream uh, science. That, that just yeah, explained. yeah, that's mainstream. What I feel, it, first of all, the atomic bond is too great to pull an electron off of the outside of an atom and move it to another atom. When you do that, that changes what the next atom is because it now has two electrons in the outer valence. Right. So, so I don't believe that it actually exchanged. I believe that there is a uh, uh, that when when electricity is flowing, I think that's the interaction between those atoms and their vibrational frequency. I don't believe that it's one atom jumping to another atom, or one electron jumping to another atom. Yeah, because like you said, uh, uh, atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And basically, the configuration of those things determine what the actual element is. 
And so, right. like, hydrogen has one electron. That's why it's the lightest substance there is. And it's highly electric. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. Um, and, and hydrogen is a byproduct of a plasma event. That's why the sun puts off hydrogen. Oh. It's not an atomic explosion happening. If you look at a solar flare, when it comes off of the sun, there's a cold spot on the sun. Under That's it. not an atomic, yeah, under it. That's not a, an atomic reaction. If it were, the closer you got to the sun, yeah, it the hotter cold. it would be. Yeah. Right. So... That's not an atomic reaction. That's a plasma reaction with a spark coming off of it. Mm -hmm. So it's an electrical event, not an atomic explosion. Yes. But not only that, after all these billions of years, that atomic mass would have been used up. Right. So... I I really don't have the same opinion as most folks on what these well, things are. It makes sense what you're talking about. Like if electrons were moving, that would be be changing the nature of the substance of the copper wire. In in, in most cases, what we're talking mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, if electrons are moving around, that's changing what those atoms are. Oh. You know, if you take away an atom or an electron from from a, from an atom, it becomes something else. That's what. That's what happens in nuclear reactors. Yeah. You know? Oh, they're right? changing the material, yeah. Yeah. You put, so, in, you put in one substance and you get two or three others that come out the other side after the reaction. Right. So so let's let's go a little bit deeper in this. When er, everything that there is it has three properties that I call the Holy Trinity. It vibrates. Because it vibrates, it creates electricity. Because it creates electricity, it creates magnetism. That's the Holy Trinity. Right. Vibration or frequency, electricity, and magnetism. Everything, everything, everything from a photon to the entire universe has these three properties. And because they have these three properties, they all create a toroidal field, which we think of as the magnetosphere of the Earth. Right. Okay? And and as you see the, the diagrams of it with the sun pushing against it, it makes a funny shape. Mm -hmm. If that were the perfect world, that would be the, the single toroidal field that emanates from one pole and goes to the next surrounding every object. So that's what we've got. And the reason that the Earth's magneto field, magnetosphere, 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 magnetosphere looks distorted is because it's interacting with other magnetic fields. It's interacting with the magnetic field of the sun. Well, yeah, we're also moving through space at thousands of miles per second. That wouldn't move the magnetic field. We're in the bubble. We're okay. in a bubble. Okay. So it's the solar wind? That's it's the sun's magnetic field that's pushing against our magnetic field. Okay. And the, the sunspots that distort our magnetic field are giant magnetic pulses coming off of the sun. We see them since it is a plasma event. We see the physical evidence of them as the sparks are the solar flares. Right. That's, uh, that's about all I think of. Uh, Everything that there is is magnetic. Everything that vibrates, everything is electric. If you'll, uh, like, every meter above the Earth, the Earth is negative, the sky is positive. Every meter above the Earth has a potential difference of 50 volts. 50 volts per meter. 
So you can go up five meters and get 250 volts. Huh. That's 25 feet. Right. A little bit more than 25 feet. It's about 30 feet. But yeah. it's that proportion. So if you really want to have power, free power, stretch your wire to the top of the radio towers or the cell phone towers and collect off of it. That wire, if you just stretch it up to the top and don't connect it to ground, that wire between the wire and ground has a potential voltage. Right. So you it's everywhere. To hook up a, a, a battery between that or a capacitor. A capacitor. Yeah, and a capacitor to collect it. Yeah. And then have it feed into a, a battery charging system or something. Yeah. That's why a Tesla tower works. It's gathering the power out of the atmosphere. Right. There is no such thing as empty space. What we think of as empty space is all electrons and all the other particles that are out there waiting to combine, waiting to match up with an opposite charge and collect. Right. And coalesce. Yeah. Make something out of nothing. And there is no nothing. Make something out of the invisible. Yeah. So. Now we, we think because you can't see it, it's not there. Another little curiosity that I have is all of these uh, electromagnetic waves that we're being bombarded with every day. Uh, yeah. Um, is there, I, I know there is, I know there's, there's, uh, Scanners and scanning array type things that will detect and tell you what what uh, types of signals you're being bombarded with. Is there an easy way to build one of those? Oh yeah, get on your cell phone and get a free app. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's too easy. <laughs> Except I gotta go yeah. buy a smartphone. <laughs> Uh, there there are lots of devices out there. eBay's got them, and yeah. Amazon's got them. Uh, but you can get one that is not precise, but it will tell you the difference uh, of all the different fields that you're coming into contact with. Your TV puts off a lot of electronic radiation. Same with your cell phone. Same with your computer. Uh yeah. Wi-Fi is radiation. Right. These children that are getting sick with all the rashes and, and the hair falling out and all that stuff, that's not due to COVID-19. That's radiation poisoning from the 5G that was rolled out in that specific area. Yeah. If you look in the United States... Those cases are happening in New York and in California where they've already rolled out 5G. 5G is harmful. 5G will kill plants. They're cutting down the trees so that people don't see that the 5G is killing the trees. If you have a smart meter on your house and a pine tree close to it, that pine tree will die. Yeah. And it's radiation. It's not a frequency. Well, it is a frequency, but it's it's not something because the, the tree's going to die anyway. Right. Yeah, that's something I was glad to see when I moved in here is we still have the old meters. Here you can still reject having a smart meter, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Yeah. It's like going off grid. Some places you can go off grid, and other places they'll condemn the property. Yeah, isn't that some shit? Yeah. Oh, oh, you don't have electricity. This property's condemned. Yep. Larry lives in Missouri, Miss Girl, near Kansas City. Yep. 
in the heart of the country, the safest place in the world to be. No tsunami or tidal wave can get this far inland because we've got mountains on all four sides of us. Yeah. The only critters here, there's a few bears, very few bears, very few cougars, and other than that, there's copperheads and water moccasins. Nothing else here can kill you. Yeah. We have an occasional badger, but I don't mess with them at all. Yeah. So I'm in the safest place in the world to be. Nothing can hurt me. You invincible nine foot tall and bulletproof old man. Absolutely. <laughs> See, I thought I was when I got out of the service. Miss Girl says, don't forget about earthquakes. You're not too far from the, uh, what's that called? The, 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 the New Madrid Vault? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's in the southeast corner of the state, and I'm on close to the northwest side. Yeah. So that might make the Missouri River run backwards, but that's about all they do here. Okay. I'm safe. Larry says he's all set. <clears throat> Not to worry. Everybody moved to, to Larry's house. Yep. It's the safest place to be. We'll have a barbecue. We'll all hold hands during the coronavirus. You cannot catch that stuff. You, you cannot can't. catch the coronavirus. No, but you can't make me join your evil prison gang. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, and you know what? Well, Rob wanted to... <laughs> Rob, see, now we're conflicting. Oops. Don't be conflicted. Because... We were on a rant with electromagnetic wave bombardment and you, and then we got kind of straight away. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing order to the table, folks. We, just, we do that. <laughs> I know. We're, we're good like that. <laughs> it's usually me. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to be the, uh, the voice back, of reason. Back to the electricity, then. Uh, well, you were on electromagnetic wave bombardment in, in me. That's what I was hearing. You were telling me how yeah, this well, shit I was, does. I was wanting to know, okay, but I was wanting to know how can, can I or anybody find out what exactly we're, we're being bombarded with. But more specifically, the 5G stuff, <laughs> which Larry went into because that's his pet peeve. Um, there's different kinds of 5G. 5G is a protocol, okay? No. 5G goes from 30 megahertz to 600 megahertz. Gigahertz. Gigahertz. Sorry, gigahertz. Well, that's, okay. Well, let me just back that's up. 600 back million up. times a second. Let me just back up. I know a little bit about point-to-point -point radio transmission in Internet configurations. I used okay. to install satellite systems and things like this. And so, um, and and everybody, you know, you've you've seen. Okay, you got two point four gigahertz. You got five gigahertz. You get all these these frequencies that phones run on. You saw it back in the day when you had the when they first started coming out with the with the wireless phones for your home. You know, you had the base unit and uh, the handsets. You know, that sat on there and they charged up. You know. And uh, the big thing, when they first came out, it was 900 megahertz. And then, and then they came out with a 2.4 gigahertz. And that was, I mean, it was that was the, you know, uh, the latest and greatest. You know, and you could, you could go all the way out to your pool, you know, and still not lose your signal and what have you. And they come out with 5 gigahertz. And then, so, and then you got your 3G, 4G. Those also run on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz signals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 5G, they've opened, what they did is they opened up a whole new range of, of uh, frequencies up to 30 gigahertz, which is what you're talking about, which is the dangerous stuff. Um, yeah, well, it's all dangerous. 5G can run over 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz just like 3G and 4G does. Yes. It's just the protocol. Um the problem is when they start cranking up these these uh, frequencies up to the 26 gigahertz and 30 gigahertz range, 
that starts causing the, the body cells not to be able to uptake oxygen. And that's why you're having these, these people that are, that are having symptoms of, uh, of uh, asphyxiation. Yes. Yes. And the, so I think they're using these things. They're directing them. They're turning them on and off uh, based on the need for the numbers. And so it, they'll they'll let things die down a little bit, and then they'll crank it back up. So, oh, we got an outbreak over here, man. It's taking off over here, you know. Um, and so they're gonna they're gonna do that uh, and stretch this thing out as long as they can. 5G is for two things, population control and surveillance. With the 5G frequencies, they can see you inside your house. So that's the surveillance part. 5G frequencies, do a little experiment on your own. Get a concrete block and take a small hammer and sit there and lightly tap on that concrete block real fast, lots of times. Yeah. It'll make a perfect hole in it, just like it's doing to your DNA and your cellular walls. It's right. putting holes in you. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. The faster you tap, the sooner you get a hole. Right. And 5G is tapping really fast, folks. Yeah. The, 27,000 times a second. Or yeah. 30,000 times and, and faster. And faster. Yeah. It goes all the way up to 300 gigahertz. That's what they've allowed it to do. That means that almost as soon as they turn it on, you start getting sick. Right. That's what's happening well, that's to these I'm, children. That, that it's radiation poisoning. Well, if you go on, like, t Mobile's website and do a look at their map of 5G coverage, I mean, they're already saying it's... Uh, Completely covering the country, basically. But that's not exactly true. They've got 5G protocol, but it's still running on 4G frequencies. Right. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Which that's, is so that's harmful. Where confuses, that's where the confusion is coming in, because people are saying, well, if we've got 5G, I'm not experiencing any problems, or blah, blah, blah. But you're still only running on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Which proves that towers. 5G will they run. They haven't run the 5G, the big, the the high-powered ones that have to be every block because they can't penetrate as well. Now, that's a, 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 a contradicting thing you said um, about them being able to see you inside your house. Now, the way I was understanding it is the higher frequencies can't penetrate uh, as well as the lower frequencies. And that's why they have to have an antenna at the every, top of every light pole right. at that altitude. On every corner. Yeah, every 200 meters so, or 200 feet. So that is uh, is a contradictory uh, uh, no, when concept it's, when it's, uh, to, to, the, to the ability to see inside a house because it's... That doesn't make sense. It, when it's when it's at that altitude <laughs> and that close to you, yes, it does penetrate the house. They they can see everything inside. They can hear you. Hmm. I mean, well, they, are, they already got technology to do that. But anyway, uh, my point was and is that. Uh, they've they've already rolled out the 5G protocol, but they're only running it on the 4G and 3G frequency technology. That's why and those so, people that are in that aren't getting sick yet. Exactly. So they're they've got they they're saying, okay, we got 5G here, and nobody's getting sick or having any problems. But then you that, know, when that they come proves along, it. When they come along and install these new towers that that'll go up to thirty gigahertz or three hundred gigahertz or whatever they're they're doing at the time, you know, then you know it, it, there's an isolated thing there. Well, that yeah. just proves that it can operate at the lower frequencies. 
Yeah, it's my Bose system, system had a had an eleven button. You know what I mean? A stereo system. Okay. It, I had a volume control, so you know, if I wanted to be reasonable, I could play it quietly. Right. And if I wanted to play it loud, I could play it loud. That's the yeah. same principle they're working with here, right? Yeah. Well, it's, okay. it's, yeah. it's, it's the difference between uh, a little uh, clock radio and your Bose stereo. Right, but the results are basically operated you're, on you're, the you're playing, control. You're playing the same music, but right. the little yeah. clock radio will never turn yeah. up enough to fucking bother yeah. the neighbors. But when it does, but boy, are Bose they going to be... stereo system yeah. will bother yeah. the neighbor six blocks away. Right, and that's so, what I... Okay, yeah. I was seeing if I was following you. Oh, yeah, same, yeah. same concept yeah. there. That's, yeah. that's the amperage going through the magnet. Anyways, it was just one of those things that, uh, through the things I've read and what have you, uh, was not clicking for me, the 5G stuff, so I had to find, figure that out. So and there's so 5G, much, yeah. There's a 5G protocol, and these kind of things bug me because they're calling it 5G, and it's not 5G. 5G is a protocol. It's nothing. It's it's like TCP IP versus uh, token ring. That's uh, everything else they do. It's 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 a uh, it's apples and oranges. The, the protocol, yeah. the protocol is, is is it's like the operating system, but the hardware you're running on could be anything. And so they've got 5G running on these 2.45 gigahertz towers that won't yeah, harm you because they, they, they don't generate... Not frequency. enough power, yeah. Or, well, power, I was thinking power, but power frequency. Frequency right. is, is what it is. Well, it, it's the amperage that pushes that frequency. Okay. Right. See, they're just, that's my point exactly. Moose Girl says we're screwed because they already have 5G running, but that's not true. They don't have what we call, what we're calling 5G yeah, is not 5G. It. It's not, yeah. the 5G is not the problem. 5G is like Windows versus Mac OS. Yeah, yeah. It's 5G versus 4G. That's not, the, it's, it's, it's uh, misdirection. Yeah, there you the go. Whole idea, the whole idea of 5G monitor. is a complete misdirection to the real problem, which is the frequency that the radios are actually broadcasting at, which they're cranking up to 26 and 30 and up to 300 gigahertz, as, as Larry has just informed me. So, uh, when, you, when people talk about 5G, that's why they're getting... Because 5G is it's just a protocol. It's just a set of operating instructions that allow for the Internet of Things and all these new new fancy things that they're doing, the tracking and all that stuff. That's what 5G does. It's the new radios that are they're pumping it out at 26, 30 gigahertz and above that are that's the health issue. Right. And that's yes, what I was sir. trying to make people understand. And when they get the satellites up, all 2,200 of them, 22,000 of them. Now, when, uh, Musk is putting up 48,000 or some shit like that. When they get all those that's up, they're going to have to boost the amperage coming out of them in order to cover the Earth. Once they do that, we're all doomed. Yeah. There's nothing we'll be able to do about it. Yeah, how are you going to stop the fucking satellite yeah. in space? And and those that's what the telephone or the telephone pole top antennas are about. They are receiving that signal. Yeah. And then they project it to your phone or into your house, whatever. Right. And then Skynet knows where you are. That's it. Oh, man, I'm... Gonna... And if AIs ever take over, we're all really doomed for sure. Because think about it. Humans are an infestation. A, a super intelligent computer program would see us as a detriment rather than a benefit 
All we do is consume and destroy things. And, and operate on complete and total bullshit. Yeah. If people knew the truth about how we live, they wouldn't they wouldn't believe we've gotten this far. <laughs> but they've done everything to make sure we don't succeed, and yet here we are fucking still are. But everybody knows all the wrong shit. Or most of them enough to operate their machines. Don't True. Understand. And then by the time you figure out you got screwed, there's really not much you can do about it. Donna has a comment. Uh, she says there's enough intelligent individuals that can engineer devices that can cancel, disable, or hijack. There are whole spectrums that can be tapped into. Four or five years ago, I gave General Kelly, the guy that, that orchestrated uh, Desert Storm in Iraq, the very first war over there, I gave him the proper frequencies for the Tesla Tower that they built outside of Waco. Shortly after that, I also gave him all of the healthy frequencies that operate within the 5G bandwidth. There are healthy frequencies in that range that they can operate in. All they've got to do is turn a dial yeah. to change the frequencies to the proper frequencies. 5G could heal all disease in mankind all over the world if they would use the proper frequencies. Right. So they've got them. We'll again, just see again, if they 5G is not a frequency. It's a protocol. Yeah. Yeah. And but what me, if they're calling 5G? They've, re they've really pounded that in, uh, the propaganda, the, the mind control, on mm -hmm. this whole 5G thing. It's bugging the shit out of me. Everybody's saying it was a 5G. There's no such thing as a 5G frequency. There's not, it doesn't exist. It's simply 5G, the frequencies that they operate. Yeah. Yeah. 4G is a protocol. 3G is a protocol. They run on radios. Radios broadcasted frequencies, 2.4, 5, 26, mm -hmm. 30, 300, whatever. Yeah. 5G is the protocol that's running over the radio that's running at 2630, 300 gigahertz. Yeah. It's the frequency that's damaging, not the fucking protocol. Right. But Captain Buzzkill, you seem so surprised. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's just, it's one of those things. It's I see brainwashing. Yeah. I know and it it's bugging, it bugs the shit out of me because, I mean, Larry just did it. Saying something How about five G frequencies, <laughs> there is no such yeah, thing as five G yeah. frequencies. The way, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just right. frequencies that that protocol uses, right? But yeah. it uses the same frequencies as three G and four G, and three G yeah. and four G will run over these same frequencies. You can run three G and four G over the twenty six and thirty and three hundred gigahertz, and those are harmful as well. It's just that they don't affect you as fast, and it depends upon your your exposure to that. If you so, limit your yeah, exposure, I don't, I don't it doesn't that. cause that much damage. I don't know. It sounds like you can regular gas. You know, you can one way or the other. But okay, right right after right after the first world war, yeah. They, they, all of our soldiers, they had a whole, the war didn't last as long as they thought it was going to. So before our guys went over, they gave them all kinds of vaccines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was wonderful. It made a lot of people sick. They were sick and coming home. And right about the same time that they were coming home, was when they first started broadcasting the first wireless communication. Those vaccines were triggered by the radio frequencies that that voice transmission was causing. And it's it's been the same. The new kids getting sick from what they call the, the COVID-19 virus, they're not getting sick from that. They're being poisoned by radiation, frequency radiation. 
and it's causing the same symptoms as if they were walking through a nuclear power plant and got exposed. Right. So it's, it's not, there is no such thing as this. Yeah, there is. It, there is a COVID-19 virus, yes. Is it deadly? If you've got breathing problems, it can harm you. It can kill you. But it can only do it in conjunction with the 5G super high frequency output. So it's tuned to the... It's basically set up to be triggered by a frequency. No. No. Well, if you do enough reading or watch enough links, you can sh they will show you there's really no... Uh, the modern day explanation for virus and what's happening and distance and all this crap is just made of nonsense. Sodium, potassium, magnesium will end all of that kind of illness. Yeah, yeah, pretty much what I read too. Yeah. yeah. A, the, a virus, what we call a virus, cannot live in a salt water environment. Saline nasal spray will cure your common <laughs> cold. <laughs> the cold and viruses like that, what we call viruses, are caused by chemical deficiencies in your body. When you use the right foods, when you eat the right stuff, when you drink the right stuff, you don't have these problems. Right. I always wondered why I had such cravings for uh, gut and oddball cravings to avocados. Well, yeah. My wife does not like avocados, but she knows what? I do. So sure. Oh. I don't tell her what to eat. It's not like that. But she'll make me mine, you know, all girly white ways. Or oh, when you crave something salty, that means you need more sodium in your body. But, I mean, it's one of those foods where I can probably eat it every day and never get bored of it. The uh, avocado. I'm a real fussy eater kind of guy, but picky. some things, yeah, yeah, that will give you back the sodiums and potassiums that you need. I like avocado. Exactly, yeah. Well, I'm, le I'm learning the results of what I've been doing by uh, following along on the Internet. It explains a lot of stuff. Cauliflower is good for that. But you've got to also remember that your body has been absorbing heavy metals through the water that you drink, through the food that you eat. Yeah. So, therefore, you've got to get rid of that. How well, do you get rid of that? Cilantro right. will get rid of that. Sweet <laughs> potatoes will get rid of that. You've, you've got to put the proper fuel in your body. Well, you know what else helps a lot, Larry? But Well... I've always told people, don't believe what people tell you. You know, look for something. You know, look for other opinions. And, and when you find the one you like, you'll call it the truth. <clears throat> so, I have been with dandelions. Now, I've read and I've been told and all this good stuff about dandelions. But they're just ugly in the yard and the wife doesn't like them. Well, I went behind her back and I went into the internet world and I found out what the fuck does a dandelion come up for in the first place? Did you know that there are two reasons that you'll get dandelions and they're for the benefit of the ground they're in? What are they? Now, one, it's a calcium rich plant. So if, and the, the other is the land gets um, compacted from too much traffic. So the, the uh, dandelions grow, and they put calcium back into the ground. That's okay. good. And if, and if you know that already, then you know that they're healthy for the ground. The ground needs them. But they're not pretty for the gardener. Okay. But they make a salad pretty. They're, yeah, and they're filled with calcium, so they're edible. Yeah. They're, yeah, well, this has been bred out of us through modern technology and Right. Roth, what, what's his name? Uh, the Rockefeller, the fucking medical creep. Yeah. This guy, man, these people here in Denmark, same thing as America. 
the fucking pharmacy has not oh. missed a fucking patient since, it, you know, everything else got shut down for a few minutes, but not that fucking pharmacy. Yeah. Has anything ever been cured from a pill? No. No. And nothing will be cured with a remedy either. It'll just be remedied so you'll live your life. You know, there's no expiration date on the bottom of my foot. My wife can look at see what day I'm going to croak. So it's like our job, ourselves, to do what we have to do to stay in good shape, you know, physically, to survive this fucked up world. And all the advice that these fucking uh, state governors are, in, I don't even know what, what to call this lockdown shit. Staying away from each other. <laughs> you get viruses. Man, are you out of your fucking mind? This is so made up. The viruses are dead. You can't, can't pass something on to somebody that's not alive, you dummies. Do a little fucking reading. And I know, I know you guys know. I'm talking to idiots that don't fucking get it. You've got and the, the, best and the reason I, research right in front of you. Use I'm in, Larry, I'm embarrassed. The country I live in is more sane looking on to this than the country I'm from. Wow. California just want, went 90 more fucking days of lockdown. That's stupid. Let people go out and play in the ocean. That's good for them. Yeah. Let your kids go out and get muddy. Well, see, there's that's the paperwork you're getting. Whatever your source is, I live here. <laughs> now, no, they, they, they may not be coming door to door saying, "Here, take your fucking vaccine." They'll make it. Yeah, they'll make it available to the people that want it, but they won't force it on anyone here. Yep, there's and ninety percent of the sheep will take it. Exactly. Yeah, because it's financial. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to benefit. It's like yeah. a smart yeah. dust that's on the tip of the swab that they put up your nose to check to see if you've got it. They're but marking any, everybody. Well, anyhow, so while everybody's worried about how Denmark's the first country that's going to get blasted with a new inoculation, the people I live around and were all in town today when I was there. <laughs> You know, other, yesterday, the other day, Ash was looking for me on RLM, see if I wanted to come by and burn one. So everything's normal here. Uh, the places are open. None of the stores are being bullied into wearing masks. One, one haircutting guy did, but I passed by today and he wasn't wearing it anymore. <laughs> so I think he was just worried about, well, yeah, you got, you know, you got busy bodies. And this is not a time to play. Oh, who would somebody call me in? Fuck it. I'm going to make sure they're not going to call me in. Yeah. Turn me in or whatever. Testing. Well, that, because we don't have a sitting police department. So, you know, the police department's used to people calling in and they know who they are. <laughs> oh, you get on the list. Yeah, you know? they got, yeah, they got a list of nut jobs that call them all the time. Well, or maybe not nut jobs, but people that aren't pleased with what you're doing that they consider a big deal. Well, like smoke this I'm getting some feedback right. in the chat room that says right. I went low, okay. and I think I accidentally turned my mic down, but I turned it back up, and so I should be back uh, at full strength at this point. Yeah. And what are we getting from the chat room? Oh. Uh, uh, Do they not believe that 5G or that the coronavirus is man-made and something that's not actually that bad? Okay, thanks, Graham. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, they're talking about other shit. Okay. But that that varies from person. You know, there's a there's a few people in the RLM that believe the, the story. And then there's the rest of us. Well, it's like 0.1% of the people that get it die from it. More than that die from the common flu. Yeah, 90% of those already had something. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, and it plays off the fear. If you're, uh, sure. if you're in that mindset where that kind of stuff is real to you, then sure, you've seen enough, you know, those zombie movies to know, hey, they could give me a virus and I'll be a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was real and Frankenstein, the mummy, yeah. Dracula, <laughs> the moon landing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, here we are in 20 fucking 20 and the collective is being duped by a dead fucking virus. Yeah. I, I'm insulted myself. I think how, uh, you know, you guys are, years. yeah, but they're fucking with my life now. And, you know, ways that could actually you know, involve me instead of just Trump being a dick and making a joke somewhere about Greenland. This could affect the, the cost of living here uh, in Denmark. It's global economy shit that I've been against ever fucking since I can remember talking. You know, if you want to go get your sure. God. Well, yeah. But, uh, well, yeah. I'm a little upset about that. Yeah. I mean, you just go out and try to buy meat. <laughs> it, well, yeah. plus, they stop some production percentage of it, like 15% of. Be, uh, pork production was halted. Yeah. The fuck is wrong with these people? What they they think that just because you don't go to work you don't have to eat? What justified that shit there? And you can't spread the virus through a piece of meat. <laughs> you can't spread it anyway. That's not you the can problem. put it. No, the you can put this. You can put this virus on it. toast and eat it and not get sick. Right. Well, this is all a big bunch of shit stories and lies and bullshit. The problem is you had a burp in the supply chain. Uh, when they shut all the restaurants down, that cut out a lot of uh, food supply orders. Uh, be surprised yep. how much uh, produce and, and groceries restaurants consume. I mean, they are a large percentage of of the uh, total production that's being used up. And when they shut all those down, they had a glut. And so the farmers were still producing, um, but no, the orders weren't coming in. And so shit started piling up. And so now we've got farmers out in the field plowing crops under, uh, euthanizing cattle and pigs and chickens um because they can't sell them they yeah. have too many can't sell them and can't afford to feed them yeah they don't want to feed them and once they get past a certain age they i guess they're not good for food anymore and they get tough or whatever um so you there's, ever there's, tried to eat an old there's, boar? A, there's a deadline you know and then so the deadline came and went and the orders weren't coming in so that and so they've got all this wasted production. Now, if, if there was any altruism involved, uh, they could have sent all that stuff to uh, people that needed it. But uh, but no, we don't do that. Uh, there's no profit in that. So, um, that's, you know, that's what happened. Well, I'm aware of that. And that's it didn't, but it, it, it's it's only where where you lock down in the first place. But where I'm lost is too much TV has convinced people of this fantasy that shit's going to happen that's not physically possible. But we've got public education and we have TV to show you that this government is acting properly. <laughs> what? Not they, they can't lie to you on TV. They got science yeah. that they got science that proves that everything that we base our belief system on right today is based on bullshit. Absolutely. It was all fraudulent, lied about, misrepresentation. Some part of it is not factual. So, kind of leaves me going, "Hey, Hello. I don't like this very much." Right. For, all, for all the hardcore Christians out there, mm. read the Emerald Tablets. That's your Bible. That's the Torah. That's the Koran. 
Read the Emerald Tablets written 25,000 years ago. For what kind of response, Larry? What, what is the advice for? What are you seeking? Uh, I'm not a Bible guy, so I don't really know what the point is. Okay, the Great Flood is in the Emerald Tablets. Hmm. The creation of man is in the Emerald Tablets. Oh. All of the stories, most of the stories in the Bible are hmm. from the Emerald Tablets. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. They All Abrahamic religion is plagiarized. Yeah, but they claim the Old Testament. And the New Testament was done by Caesar. Yeah. And both right, but Josephus. These religious guys that sell the religion, you know, to make money, they've got a different way of, of expressing it, I think. Because people believe this stuff like it's real. Oh, I feel man. like God for right. money is a sin. Well, see, there you go. With words, too, is it... I listened to Clint Richardson on uh, UCY for quite a while, and I caught a lot of the shows that he did, defining these different religious words, what their origins were, what the word meant. And here we are today using these words out of sync, out of time, but in a kind of appropriate way, but not really. You know, we're, we're sort of right, but not quite. Let's do that. My favorite word is... Incredible. What does incredible mean? It means it has no credit. It's not true. Incredible. We we play these word games all the time. Fantastic. That means that it is fantasy. Okay. <laughs> Fantastical. People people say something to me over here, and my partner Evan is is here, and I'll say, well, that's incredible. And they think I'm giving them a compliment, and Evan is laughing his ass off because he knows I'm insulting them. <laughs> Ouch. Slap. You're mean. Uh, it, we, we, we've been taught so many wrong things in our lifetime. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get through them. It's like the word nice. You can't. See, you, you can't run into more than five people that you can really talk to in your whole fucking life. <laughs> because we're all speaking a different language that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah. Go back to the Latin roots of most words and find out what they really mean. Yeah. Go back well, I'm roots. leaning more, more towards the deceit of the stories we get told and how stupid they have to keep us so that we, as a collective, will continuously believe the bullshit stories that the government throws at us through media. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you haven't learned by 2020, and these public fucking messes are still going on, they're all scripted. They all say the exact same fucking thing, word for fucking word. Yep. Wow. Wait a minute. Doesn't that reek of big brother to you, Rob Works? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> well, I mean, see, if I was if I was a, an employed working fellow at this point in life, I don't think I'd like Denmark any more than any place else. No, you know, no. But I don't. I so I think the retirement guy part of me, you know, where I've settled in and I'm I'm just waiting for the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. But that, that's how I see it. I didn't come here to be to become a Dane or change anybody from being Danish to anything else. Oh, in fact, I got a quick story. Can I brag about m my wife's um, nephew and his girlfriend? Yeah, go for it. I'm actually going to step away. Got a minute. For a minute. I'll, I'll mute all you right. out. You tell your story. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So we, we had a house full of family yesterday, and uh, the mom, the aunt. The sister, well, uh, the sister and uh, her son and his girlfriend, and then me and Sarge. So we're all hanging out, and I've got this brick building in right by the house, and we've been tearing it down over the last month or so, and then hauling the debris out into the back of the property. But his little girlfriend 
said she wanted to knock down some of the wall. So I threw about a 20-pound sledge at her and said, go ahead. And she did. <laughs> Little tiny girl, smaller than me. And uh, the, between her and the boy, they were just going ape shit on this brick wall with a sledgehammer. They thought it was the coolest thing that they've done, in, you know, since they got, I guess, locked down. Because they come out here now. Um, is anybody here still, or did you guys both go off at the same time? We both left. Okay. I just had to, you know, I just felt like bragging, but we got two 15-year-olds, and uh, they wanted to take over the labor and, and participate, use their aggression for something that was positive. Well, destruction can be fun. Yeah, well, I, I think they were surprised when I said, sure. <laughs> but I had to tell them where I didn't want them to knock it so they wouldn't bring the whole fucking wall down on the accident. Yeah. Because the whole thing didn't come down. I just wanted a part of it down. Yeah. Well, who thought teenagers would, uh, I don't know, follow instruction? <laughs> Go figure. So th now this is the cool house to hang out at. So Cirque's family loves it coming out here from the city. And then we're so far from the all the hoopla they play in the stand six feet apart crowd. Yeah, they try it in the grocery store, but by the end of the day, people are just crowded together like they always have been. You know, it's like, yeah, they're familiar with each other. Most of these people know each other. You know, it's not it's not that big of a place. How do you stand six foot away from the person that accepts your credit card or your money? You don't. If there's if there's really a virus being spread, how are they letting people use real money? Well, it's the misdirection of defining virus and what a virus does and what a virus is in the first place. If we if we were using the correct word instead of virus, I would agree with what they're saying to a point. But they're mis they're misleading the public, and, and it's wrong, and it's a way to control you based on a fear you have from. Fucking 50 years of pro uh, propaganda through the system. Yep. You know, and it, it's, if you're a voter out there supporting a, a cause or a principal or a, or a guy or a girl, then you probably think I'm crazy. Let's, let's go back to radio frequency and that sort of thing for just a minute. Okay. All you people out there that have children in school, if they have Wi-Fi in those schools, if your girl is submitted to the Wi-Fi, subjected to the Wi-Fi, from kindergarten through 12th grade, 50% of them will be sterile. And just a little bit lower percentage of the boys will be sterile. That means in three generations, there will be no more population growth. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, that's the part where you sound crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. Because you couldn't accidentally do the things that happen. And, and you can stop that by making the schools go to hard wire. Mm. The hard wire is shielded. That means that none of that radiation can escape it. Yeah. That's all. I'm done. Okay. Well, I didn't want to get in front of you if you sounded well, like a you're, truck. You're still <laughs> I get violent you're still over gonna, that. You're still going to get uh, blasted with Wi-Fi. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 it's yeah. almost everywhere. It is but everywhere. if you go hard wire... That is a shielded cable. It's got a woven aluminum or steel coating on it under the insulation around the wire that prevents any loss. Hmm? Right. Well, and it more, it's more for interference. Uh, yeah. Because if you run those cables alongside a power line, <laughs> a power wire, it's well, going to get interference, and so they shield it for that reason. How, yeah. how much it creates a signal? How much of this illness do you think people bring on their self, Rob, just because of the because of the state of mind they're in? At least fifteen percent. You know, I mean, if you're in a panic, 
then People that there believe you go. they're going to get sick will most likely get sick. Well, okay, think about this. When you get mad or mm -hmm. agitated or depressed, you're mm -hmm. sick at your stomach. Um, when you're when you're happy and giggly and content, yeah. you're not sick at your stomach. Yeah. That should tell oh, you something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why I so I, I disagree so badly with what the state's pulling with this uh, separation crap because we they you know we, they, they don't want us well, all sitting around talking right. about what they're doing. Right. And and I've got this Danish life where we go out in the backyard in the sunshine and tear down brick walls in a group. Yeah. You know, and make and make a fun thing out of a drudgery because right. Well, well, there you go. That's the way it should be. Well, how do you give that to somebody else? The only thing I can do is talk about it. You guys are welcome to stop by, but it's a long trip from where you are. Yeah. Yeah, and, that whole, yeah. That whole uh, community camaraderie type thing. It's mm -hmm. like back in the old days in the, in the old west, somebody's house burned down. The whole freaking town shows up and helps them rebuild their house. Fuck insurance. Yep. You know, they didn't have no insurance. People relied on each other. Yep. And now, it's all about insurance and government. You know, the government's going to protect me, and the insurance is going to cover me when shit goes wrong. And the government's going to give me money when I want it. Yeah, when it, you just, and it's just, you know, have a happy little dependent life there, you little peon. Um, and that's why that's what's happened. Everybody is that's the whole the charity thing, you know. People don't are not charitable anymore now. People give to these organizations to feel like they're being charitable, but it, that's not charity. Yeah, uh, right. Give your money to the Red Cross so that they can keep ninety percent of it. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, people don't feel the need to help other people. Oh, well, the government, that's what welfare is for, you know. That's what I pay taxes for. And, uh, you know, so it's killed the whole spirit of, of charity for everybody. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's strange because uh, we have people that can beg here in town but they've got to do it through selling this particular uh, magazine thing, like a it's like a newsletter, right? <laughs> it's yeah. Well, it's the Danes are some weird people. I'm telling you. Well, I I <laughs> pass so mad these, for begging. Uh, no, no, no. But uh, they've got they're limited to what they can out, do. <laughs> well, no, nah, they actually they sell the paper to make to instead of. Bang. Oh, oh, okay. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's very... <laughs> anyway, the reason I brought it up is the girl that I I run into, she a woman, maybe I'm 20 years older than her, but she was out in front of the Quickly Grocery today, and she asked me to get her a Coke. And I she never asked, I just said, out, hit me up for smoke here and there, but today it was a Coke. Now, I had a dilemma on my hands, okay? And that dilemma was, it's only a fucking Coke. I'm not working. It's not going to break me. It's the yeah. principle of I hate supporting this fucking monster Coca-Cola. Okay? Right, right. I did it because it was more important to me at the time to get the woman a drink of Coke. Yeah. Most of the people around here that panhandle wear nicer clothes than I have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, definitely more expensive shoes. Uh, no, out there making two, three, four hundred dollars a day. No, uh, this is a small oh. town. Yeah, you're not going to get it in that little town. You're talking, no. talking. We city, have, but. we have our our city beggar. I don't know his name. But he's got a following. Man. This guy, he's popular. People love him. They uh -huh. bring him food, and we all get him beer and yeah, give him money. <laughs> wow. Well, he's. He's too crippled to continue to work. We all know that. Yeah. And yeah, so he comes here where it's a little bit more bearable for weather, and, and he does begging thing. Huh. It, I don't know. I, these people that I live among, I've never lived anywhere like this before. 
This town is strange. Suited me. <laughs> you fit right <laughs> in, huh? <laughs> we've, we've got a rock hound like Woody that has a, a shop with his wife. Yeah. He sells rocks. She sells yarn. So, yeah, I, I get a chance to go in there and check out his shit and see what he's up to. And it's the girls that support that. Yeah. Yeah, the jewelry and making yeah. stuff. Well, see, that's that's how people are when they're not in big cities. They're in smaller places. They got to do shit to occupy the time. Yep. Life gets boring. Right. Well, they and they're all tuned into the electronic shit, right? But still, there's a there's an interest in being outside with your with your family or your siblings. A lot of the kids play together. Yeah, shit. And they're outside. I've seen them outside in the freaking wintertime. Good fuck. Are you kidding me? But, you know, that's... Yeah. Yeah, American kids days. running around out here playing or anything, man. Hardly. Oh. One yeah. neighbor across the street, a kid comes out here once in a while and sits there on a swing, thumb-fucking her phone. Ouch. <clears throat> that's where I'm really blessed. I'm the neighborhood safe house. When kids' parents aren't home after school, it used to be, there's no school now, but when kids used to be home without their parents, they would stop by here. And we'd go out in the backyard and build a fire or uh, dig in the garden or play catch or something. Occupy. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, that's yeah. how it still is where I live, Larry. And I've been a city dweller for, you know, I spent a lot of my adult life in the city. And then when I hit 54, I hit islands, you know, island life. Yeah. Slowed down. And went, Holy fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's a whole another culture. Oh, oh, oh. Well, right. But it prepared me. I, I told you, I wish I could take credit for escaping America. You know, being so ingenious that I saw all this coming and I went, I ain't going to live here. But, no, <laughs> I've been accused of it. You know, ah, oh, you ran away. Boy, I wish you could tell that story now. I'd make all kinds of Danish friends. I'd be sitting at fires and people listening to me tell my story about how I escaped the evil America. <laughs> what, you think I'm kidding? America looks like uh, communist Russia right now here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, and some of the people that I know here have been to America. So yeah. when uh, when we talk, it's like, what the, what the fuck happened to you people? But we're, the, we're the biggest country in the world for if you've got it and I want it, I'm going to make war on you and steal it. Yeah. We've done okay. that over and over and over. Did you run out of victims? <laughs> yeah. And and it's normally people that don't aren't participating in the World Bank. So that shows you that we're being controlled by the evil folks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? And yeah, this global thing, and it's different from state to state. See, there is no America. America is just a it's a, a failed experiment. No, it, it's a, on paper maybe, but it, the concept behind it all is failed. You don't have a constitution yeah. anymore. Most of the people that talk all the time don't even really seem to understand. You lost the constitution in two thousand and what November of two thousand and one. Mm, yeah. We no and, longer have freedom of speech. It's okay. all politically correct now. Hmm. Uh, there's hate speech now, so you can go to jail for saying that you hate bananas. It's it's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, the Constitution died in 1861. Yeah. <laughs> oh, details. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, I know, know the you Channel know. Corporation. It's been it's been dead for 160 years. Well, you want to do a little bit on that while we're on the. What, the Constitution? Yeah, fuck, you know this shit. Uh, yeah, I got over it a long time ago. But you also <laughs> realize that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't apply. Yeah. 
it doesn't. You yeah, don't even take even if it was it's still in effect. It, it's it, it wouldn't matter. You you cannot take it to an admiralty court. <laughs> yeah, Judge won't. Well, it's not. On, they don't honor it anymore because they don't well, have. There, to. There's a reason they don't. They don't allow people to bring up the Constitution in the local courts and stuff like that because and and they're right. It's not. It's not applicable. It's not. No, because we're in we're in the military admiralty courts, maritime law. Yeah, well, equity law. Statutes and codes. Yeah, it's all about yeah, corporate corporate law, equity yeah. law. Yeah, very little to do with a victim. It's about breaking some fucking rule some moron made because he was bored. You know, like we can't drive out there without running into each other. See. Right. So they, what they did was they made all these rules to ensure that you have that tension on you all the time about oh something can go wrong, and you know the more aware you are of fucking something up, the more likely you are to fuck it up. <laughs> Just like this virus story. Yeah. If you've seen enough virus movies, by God, you better keep everybody away from me. They ain't killing me. No, that's not how that works. Sweetheart, sit down. Let me tell you the truth. <laughs> but you can't do that. The truth, people will not listen to the reality of this. They're too, they're too busy agreeing with the state so they can live inside and have electricity. Right. Because if you go get the, against these fucking thieves that are holding up planet hostage, they will fuck you up. And not think twice about it. And it doesn't matter who you are. People think, yeah. oh, these big, important billionaires. You know, fuck you. They'll drop them like a head cold. Just like they always have. Like yeah, still it, it, you, you, don't, you don't tell the line, man. It don't matter who you are. Well, you don't think Billary is really Bill Gates, the genius, thought all this shit all by himself. Fuck no. He's just a this guy's... He's like the worst front man for a band I've ever seen. <laughs> but, well, you know, hmm. I guess it's it's like, why didn't they straighten Freddie Mercury's teeth? He had all that money. <laughs> 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 you know, people didn't understand. That, well, he couldn't sing like that without those teeth being that fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a balance. It's part There's of the a balance. It's yeah. part of the sound, man. Right, right, right. But can you see, get the same harmonics with straight teeth? But they did. what? They, <laughs> they don't. The simplest of things have been bred out of us. Right? Yeah, we are not oh, taught man. nothing. Yeah. And I'm talking about from my day too. Uh, yeah. All right, because the things that I learned that are valuable to me now, like nutrition. Where right. electricity comes from. What well, I got from Larry. Shit in school. No, I learned all this stuff when I was an adult. But like Larry opened my eyes to the the faulty uh, cycle that it's delivered on <laughs> creates all the physical problems that you have are based on the electricity that you encounter and your food intake and your what. But electricity is a huge part of it because we are electricity, right? Yeah, that's right. Or electrical yeah. beings, yeah. And it's uh, 440, like that. 440, the base frequency that we operate on, was changed during the Second World War by by Hitler's group. They mm -hmm. changed that so that they could keep people agitated. When everybody's mad at everybody else, you can fight better. Yeah, it's and easier to start a war. <laughs> yeah. And suspicious enough to call and turn you in for doing something wrong. Yep. Wow. Kids, did your parents use pot? Well, yeah, they do. Well, they're going to jail now, and you're going into a foster home where you can be molested. Yeah, or killed. <laughs> or killed, yeah. <laughs> uh, stock puppet. Which has happened. <laughs> yep. Yeah, hey, that's a funny guy. <laughs> well, sorry, I know. So I, I do try to be more serious on you guys' and stuff. <laughs> but I've got friends in the electronic world that, you know, 
They're loose cannons. They say what comes across their minds. Yeah. They don't seem to care much what anybody thinks. No filter. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much like that. I don't really care. You know, if that's the mood I'm in and you don't like it, don't read it. Uh, I'll ignore you back and we'll live. Yeah. We'll live to bitch another day about how bad the life is. Uh, <laughs> see, I mean, wow. Where, what the fuck is all that about? Life is whatever you want it to be. You're, you know, you're on the electronic world, so let's let's make it real bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm having a giggle. Anyway, well, you guys are smart. You guys know between the two of you, you know a lot of shit. Did yeah. you know that? Shit, yeah. that's right. <laughs> I well, am totally full of information. It's just that most of it's wrong. Exactly. But what Rob was saying about they they said we use 5G, but they're not operating that. They're just using the name, right? This is how I took it. There, it's and it's the same as using regular gas in a car. You shouldn't use oh. regular gas in that car. You're really kind of fucking the car up, but it's cheaper and, well, it's gas. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's the same kind of principle, in it? Most people don't even think that deep. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, ooh, ooh, I'm a deep thinker. <laughs> but, hey, you know what else oh, yeah. I got? I got coming next Thursday, some potassium sulfate. Yeah. Yeah. What do you two guys have to say about me going out of my way, getting off my lazy ass, and going to the store and ordering me up a hot bottle of potassium sulfate? Probably the best thing you could do for your body. Yeah. Take them in small quantities. Just ride along. Same with all the sodiums. Same with the magnesium. You need that. You need vitamin K. You need vitamin D. That means sunshine. Vitamin D is sunshine. You know, I, I walk. I walk when it's not sunny, and I, but the sun's there. It's just not sunny. Oh, so I get all the boo. But I get the benefits. I read that uh, exercising in the cold is more beneficial to you physically than exercising in the warm climate. Hmm. must be more straight. You know, it's harder to do it in the cold than it is in the heat or the warm. So your body benefits more from the extra energy you got to put in to do it. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'm telling you, man, I'm going to be, I'm hopefully, I make it 61 this year. I'm still walking. I'm walking all into town all the time. Pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's got to be a mile to the store, the farthest one I like to go to from from where I live. So I'm easily, you know, there's a two mile walk for old guy. Yeah, yeah. bragging there, Rob. Huh? When was the last time you walked two miles, sir, Mister? Driving around everywhere. Huh? 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 Uh. Hmm. Um, I'd have to think about that for a while. The last time my boat got blown to the far end of the lake and I had to walk back to the car. <laughs> Ouch. Well, okay, to each his own. I I will not I will not punish you with my superiority. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's what people do. They think that you know, they do something that's good for them, me. So it's supposed to be good for you too, fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the yard the other and day. And it was. That was some walking. I didn't <laughs> hear you agreeing with me, you fuckers. So you guys went, hey, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's no, the beauty of life. It's good for you. Yeah. I mean, everybody needs yeah. it. Okay. Doesn't sound like you do, though. <laughs> Oh, I do. I need it bad, but uh, uh -oh. I'm a lazy fuck. Oh, you didn't say that part. Uh, I was thinking the other things. Okay. <laughs> but I'm on the right road here adding potassium sulfate to my additives. Right, Larry Woods? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Uh, I thought you'd say that. Well, again, if you're sick, you mm -hmm. have a chemical imbalance. Mm -hmm. There's nothing yeah. wrong with yeah. you except you need some sort of chemical in your body that you don't have. Mm -hmm. And the shots and the pills and all that garbage that the AMA and your doctors are trying, and the World Health Organization are trying to put into your body all have harmful side effects. And this is natural and doesn't. That's why they took us off it in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and the further I looked in at food and what I was eating, and I'm still, I still love my crap. But I've got the awareness now that, you know, if I start to feel ill about something physically, I better pay attention to what you're eating. So, yeah. but fortunately, yeah, no, nothing. I'm still out there with it, you know, keeping up with 15 year old doing, you know, heavy labor, so I guess not. I'm not doing too bad. I've got a Nintendo Wii that has a fitness program on it, and it thinks that I'm 20 years old. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Oh, that, that'll work. Mm -hmm. I had one in Scotland because I was house fan. I couldn't, I couldn't go out in that damn freaking windy, cold. Oh, no, no, no. So I got me a Wii. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I could play a little bit of golf <laughs> and, a few, and a few games, but... Yeah. Well, I ended up moving to Scot uh, from Scotland somewhere else. Yeah. That's where we play golf. Yes. In I'm Scotland, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't play golf. Do you play golf? I can't get them golf eggs to get soft enough to eat. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I, I think golf is kind of a pretentious sport in the first place. I've it's played really, it a few times, but... I'm it's hard to play. No blacks, I'm no not, Jews. I'm not a golfer. It, it's hard enough to play. I w it's not like a talentless thing. It's just not my interest. It's kind of yeah, over the top. Now, I've got more important things to do than chase a little ball and put it in a hole. <laughs> I never could see the sense in hitting something to run after it and try to find it and hit it again. I already yeah, told well, you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not that different from, from pool, you know. You're just knocking balls in holes. Did you know that they even have a translation here for potassium sulfate? Oh, yeah. Kalium. Yeah. And it was in the word. Yeah, and, oh, and the, she knew exactly what I wanted, and but she has to order it from another bigger store. They don't stock it in this little store in this little town. Because uh. I'm probably the only one here that knows what the fuck it is. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I mean. They're all on state medicine. This is a, uh, this is a, like working class. Yeah. So you know, these are people retirees and whatnot from jobs, businesses, and what. So. They only know what they were taught. Well, that. yeah, that, and you can make a bomb out of potassium hydroxide. <laughs> oh, well, I, I can make a bomb out of a plate of beans. Don't but worry. Potassium, potassium is what lets your body heat up yeah. enough to kill the bad germs. Right, because all this stuff is based on inflammation. Right, Larry? Yes. Okay, so... When some part of your insides gets inflamed, what when you go to the doctor and they give you a pill, what the pill does is it masks you feeling whatever's happening. So you don't know it's there, but it's still there. It's still there, damaging the body. Now, what the potassium sulfate does, Larry could explain this part, but I'm, that's what I'm leading up to, right? Replacing the medicine I would take but instead using the natural remedy, which is potassium sulfate. Yeah. So what does that do to the inflammation? That allows that area to heat up enough to kill the problem. So it doesn't need to be inflamed anymore. No, so it doesn't need... That's what a, that's what a fever is. It's your body heating up enough to kill the germ. Hmm. Well, okay, well, depending on the person, some people's temperature goes up to a certain number, 
And then everybody panics because it's so high. So then they start doing, you know, uh, what do you call it? Synthetic things to bring it down. Yeah, well, your, your temperature, the human body can only maintain a specific temperature range. And once you get above it, like 105 degrees, that's damaging your brain cells and the rest of the cells in your body. But okay, so well, what temperature would you... Would, all right, well, you don't want to completely um, remove the temperature. You want to control it at a certain... within certain numbers? Yeah, yeah, you don't need anything over 102. If your normal temperature is 98.6... Mine is 96.5, but if your normal temperature is 98.6, you don't need more than 102 degrees to kill anything that's harmful in your body. That is not what people are taught. No, not at all. Okay, I don't know why they're not taught these things, but what I did learn through, you know, all um, between the links, listening, you know, a lot of people on the uh, YouTube, mostly YouTube. I got a ton of shit up. But and then, you know, you guys on the radio and so on. And I think all the answers are right in front of us for all this crap. Yeah. It's just the, the lies are so, they're so, what would you call it? Not more believable, but they're more Prevalent. Available. Yeah, there you go. When you tell somebody a lie over and over and over, soon they'll begin to believe it. Hmm. Well, apparently it's worked on it. Wow. It's got to yeah. be true. They told me on their TV. I, yeah, well, I still, see, I mock that because I don't hold that value, but I can see it in, you know, others. The government's there to help us. They would never harm us. Mm. See, yeah, and I can see by the lifestyle around me that the government here is, you know, they're, they expect from their government because they pay taxes. They're but they get them. shit. Yeah, well, they get shit. So it's more... Um, the corruption is right in front of you. You're looking right at it if you know what you're looking at. It's But they're doing it within the, the confines of the laws they wrote. So they're pleasing these fucking taxpayers. It's, it's a game. Just a word game. Paper chase. Over the, you know, I don't even really understand what the point of all this is. To control us, I, that's the result of it. But what is the point of, of having so much control over masses of people that they're so gullible they believe any story that you tell them? Mm-hmm. Because some people are megalomaniacs, yep. and they feel the need to control everything around them. Yep. Power, greed. So if a movie actor goes on the TV and brags about how he got the coronavirus and struggled and blah, blah, blah for two or three weeks and beat it, then the people that like him are going to believe him or her, Right. Yeah, and that just means that they were put under house arrest for their indictment. <laughs> and see, the, well, so what I mean is there's always a bow on the box. Then you open the box and you find out there's, hey, there was nothing in the box. Just had a bow on it. box full of rocks. Or nothing. <laughs> there. Yeah, but yeah, same thing. Yeah. Well... Okay, where is all the success of government that creates the mindset of a supporter for government? <laughs> they yeah, never will. They won't come on the radio and tell me. That's they the just, cognitive dissonance right there. I mean, everybody says, oh, we got to have government, but nobody can tell you what they've done that actually helped anybody. Well, they'll take credit for shit like the... Uh, Civil War being about slavery and all that rubbish. Oh, God. No, oh, how they freed the slaves. No. No, they didn't. No. They made slaves, you idiot. No. They made they slaves did. out of everybody. They made everybody <laughs> slaves. They brought us all down to the same stance. Yeah, yeah because... Created what the free-range slaves now. Yeah, what the South didn't want was to join up to the North. They wanted to be left alone. 
And what the North wanted was consolidation so they could tax them. Make money well, off the resources. Yeah. Tariffs. Tariffs. It's going to cost you to sell your cotton up north. Yeah. Yeah, they did everything they could to... Uh, well, here we sit. In the midst, but, Rob, here we sit. Of the three of us. Yeah, in the midst no, of the, in the mid, whoa, In the midst of the corona, and we're still alive. <laughs> What's wrong here? One, one, one of us is supposed to die by now? Uh, How many months has this been? That, that that's been? probably should have been me. I've got bronchitis, and I'm 72 years old. I should be dead. I've been dealing with an ear infection for a couple. Of, eh, I've been toying with it for weeks, maybe a month. There you go. But yeah, sweet gum oil. Okay, but that's why I figured I'd double down and go on the potassium sulfate, so I could completely cure the ear infection. Yep, that or heat up some sweet gum oil and put it in your ear and let it soak in. It'll be over with by morning. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not too hot on that. I'd rather just wait until Thursday when they deliver the stuff and take a few tablets like a big sissy. <laughs> I'm going to be a Rockefeller sissy and taking a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's see, that's the appeal to uh, medicine in the first place. Because real medicine that will do something for you usually either smells like shit, looks like shit, tastes like shit, could be shit. <laughs> but it's it's probably the shit, shit in it. <laughs> and it, but it's yeah. always but there. You go. It's the shit, and it works. <laughs> so they, and that's what I try to remember: is things that work good for me aren't always things I like. My grandmother used to tell me, "If it don't taste nasty, it ain't helping." Uh oh. That's it. Same with red medicine. If it don't burn, it ain't working. <laughs> you, you crazy white people, you crack me up. Yeah, I, I put iodine and mercurochrome all over my cups when I was a kid, and it never hurt me any. Wow. It burnt like a bitch when I used it. Yeah, it, yeah, burned, it, right? it burns, but it didn't do any damage, and it healed me oh, up no, because it, it cauterized the wound. Yeah, but, oh, putting it on was like, damn, that was like redoing the injury. Yeah. <laughs> but the result was worth it. That's what I mean. And, and I shit. had one aunt. I had one aunt that said, don't blow on it, you'll give it germs. <laughs> germs. Oh, here we go with the germ story. The myths and the stories come from uh, all the science. Yeah, because what what we ended up being given is all the bullshit from science, and all those true science has been hidden from us, and we've been given this load of bullshit to work with. Which is why I got involved with you doing the in a coil program, uh, drop in a coil program in the first place, because you're doing something with electric that is against the freaking grain. These pricks do not want Larry to do this. But it's nothing new. The, what we're doing is, is in the stone reliefs from the Anunnaki. Oh, I, right I know there. that. I think that people follow the that We have a little following. So the people that follow the show know the basic stuff like that about you. Yeah. But, yeah, it doesn't hurt to repeat it. But, oh, yeah, we know this. I'm just a freak. Well, maybe so, but. The stories that I've been told that turned out to be bullshit that led me to you are way weirder than the stories that you tell. <laughs> uh, and the results... I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was laughing at Cowboy Chicks. Well, it was... Okay, I'm, I'm using Rob as an example, too, because Rob's been going on the journey learning from you about the electrical stuff. So it's interesting to see... You know, from this, where I'm at, to where he's at, to where you're at. It's like a, like a triangle. <laughs> I don't mean it like anybody is, like, superior. It's just the three points. Right. And we, we form this triangle. And Rob's in one position on it, and I'm in another, and you're in another. Yeah. Well, so far, it's been successful, I think. 
I've come yeah, out of it. I've been dragging my it. ass on getting the coil down, but I, let's go to the coil for just a little bit, Rob. Okay. Uh, disregard everything that I've told you. Forget vortex math. Okay. Start at twelve o'clock on the outside equator of your donut. Uh huh. Describe an arc that goes between that point around the coil to uh, 180 degrees straight south of that first point okay. in the middle. When you get to that point on the center equator, turn the coil over and describe another arc that goes back to that beginning point. Okay. That will give you one circuit. Move around. I see you're doing the six circuit coil. Uh, move 40 degrees and describe your next arc. Move another 40 degrees and describe your next arc. That's your, that's your pattern. Follow that nine wraps with one wire on each one of those. And then turn your coil over, turn your wire over, and do it exactly opposite again, nine wraps. That's your six circuit coil. Okay. So describe describe us an art from top dead center to top dead center uh, uh, to the bottom dead center in the hole. Okay. From the outside north uh, point, up and over, to around, uh, up and over, then down through the hole, around, right. back up. Down, down through the hole. Right. Down through down. the hole, around clockwise, and then come back up at the... Do you see at the 180 degree mark on the outside? At, no, at, at the beginning point on the outside. You're describing a slow arc on one side to 180 degrees inside that hole. It'll be the bottom of the hole. Uh, if, okay. So if, you if, you, if, your, if your coil is vertical rather than laying down, stand it up. Uh -huh. Top dead center on the outside equator to the 180 degrees on what would be the bottom of the donut hole. That describes a slow arc that takes half the side of the coil to get to it. Then flip it over and from that center point go back to the top in the same slow arc. That's starting to make more sense. It's a whole lot easier than having you plot it with vortex math. That takes years to figure out. Well, I got the, the, the video that you gave me. It says how to plot a 9 by 9 Yeah. That's easy it, enough to do. Um, yeah, this is a 9 by 18 Right. But that, that only means that one side is one unit and the other side is two units. <coughs> It's just the ratio, because all your all your four sided things would be parallelograms rather than squares or rectangles. Right. Okay. That that will make it easier to understand, I think. But remember, when you pull that wire off the reel. That's polarized in a specific direction. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. I. Uh, I, I got that part. Um, okay. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, That's important. I've got that figured out. Um, so yeah, let me just look at this picture here and see if I can understand Ali, what you're talking about. So that starts. Let's see. That's 
going up and over and right down to the middle. And so that continues around and back. It's exactly what I thought. See, I was telling you this. That's three. And I just wasn't understanding it. Yeah, yeah. That that's just that's that pattern starts it. Okay, due north number zero point zero degrees, whatever. Comes around, goes straight to the, yes to the bottom of the donut hole. Yeah. And then back around to the top. So that's one wrap around and through the donut. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. And you got three of those. And each one of those is is actually two circuits, one going one direction, one going the other direction. Exactly. Got it. That, see, that makes so much more sense. I have a bad time explaining things to people. I think yeah, everybody it's, it's knows hard. everything especially, I do. Yeah, especially when you were trying to just describe it in words and not... But now that I've got this picture and you've described it that... That way, because the whole one four seven thing—that's that's for something else. It's got to be for something else, because that's not how uh, this thing is working. Okay. I mean, it may have worked to plot the the path, but that is there's the, it's not wrapping through the hole three times, which is what I've got. Okay. It's 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 not doing that. It's not even anywhere close. You've got. It's the same pattern, but it's done in a different way. Yeah. You've got, you've got, see, I would call this a three-circuit coil, technically. Well, it, in my mind, this is three circuits. Each one of those is actually two wires to complete one circuit, one going one direction, one going the other way based on polarization. And so you've got three circuits of two two wires each. You could describe it like that, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you've yeah. got four leads on each one. So you've got actually 12 leads coming off this thing? 12, 12 leads, six yeah. circuits. So yeah. you've got, tech. so yeah, you could call that six circuits, but I see three circuits. Yep. Yeah. But you know, you're going to have three major magnetic fields. Yes. Those are, those. you know, even though you've got two circuits on each one of those wraps, that's that's one magnetic field composite. And and with the, with the space in between it, that gives those magnetic fields from each individual wire interacting with one another a space to grow. You have mutual induction between those two sets of wires. Right. The empty space gets more narrow as you get toward the the hole in the donut. That is compression of the magnetic field. As the wire goes around the donut, around the ring part, that also creates a compression inside the ring. Uh, that yeah, yeah. that magnifies the magnetic field. Right. I can I can see it now. I can totally Good. I can totally see it looking at your picture, which you just described, starting at, at, at top dead center. If you hold the donut up upright mm -hmm. in a vertical position, yep. and it's a gradual arc around to the center of the hole on the bottom. Right. And then a gradual arc back around to the top. It's one wrap through the donut hole. I said those words. <laughs> that when I, <laughs> it's only going through the hole once. I see it. I can see it right there. Each circuit is going through the hole one time, and that's two, two uh, technically two circuits per wrap. What I'm calling a wrap. But yeah. Yeah, that makes that that makes it a lot easier. Other than. Getting that arc just right, um, that's going to That's be, what the vortex math is all about. Yeah. Getting that arc yeah. right. Yeah. But if, if you just lay your wire on it, start out with string, lay your string on it, and describe that arc. Look, look at it and, and see that it goes smoothly from top down into the center of that donut hole. Well, having the picture to go by, I can, 
I can yeah. match. I can match that. Yeah. At least to a to a certain degree. Yeah. Now, now for the rest of the folks out there, this is simply one style of coil that. In our experiments, we found that this particular pattern produces the highest amperage that you can get out of a coil that we have found so far. Uh, we've got a bunch of different styles of coils now that all do different things, but this is the one that produces the highest amount of amperage, and it's Ten times more than the wire is rated for without burning the wire up. Right. So Every coil will do something. Because I've been mulling this over and, and trying to make this work with your 147 formula. Yeah. And that just, that ain't, that ain't, that, and this donut picture I'm looking at, just, that, no. <laughs> it, it didn't work, yeah. It just don't add up, man. Eh? <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> so, this yeah, I'm glad you said that, because now that, now that makes sense. And I'm not fighting what I was taught, uh, as opposed to what I'm see, looking at, so. That uh, well, that gives me a little incentive to to get off my ass and do something about it. Yeah, that's, I did that's, start to print the the other donut, another donut with the ABS plastic. Oh, cool! Um, but it worked. I guess ABS is is real finicky. Um, it uh, it'll warp if it cools too fast. And so um, I either need to build an enclosure for my printer. To keep the heat in, or wait till it's warmer out, and because I've got it in my on my in my back room there, with, there's no AC. So uh, once it gets warm enough out, I think I'll be able to print one without it warping on me. I know zero about printers and printer programs. Well, that's that's just a it's just a property of the ABS filament plastic. Yeah. Um, you don't run a cooling fan on it, and if if it uh, if there's any kind of breeze or anything, that's why they say they recommend you have a uh, an enclosure to keep any type of breeze from blowing on it to cool it. Uh, Put it in a washing machine box. Yeah, basically, I've got a box uh, that I, I can use for it. But it's it's just been getting chilly at night here, so I'm just kind of holding off till it. Same here. Chilly. We're not supposed to get summer till this weekend. Yeah. So we just had our first 80 degree day yesterday, I think. And nice. It, it's just about to hit 80 right now. It's 79 degrees outside. Wonderful. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Well, that gives me that gives me some incentive to. Uh, to pick this thing back up. I think I'll just go ahead and rip all this wire back off this other one and uh, start over with it. Good. So. I wanted to get yep. that in before we quit today. Yeah. And the folks out there doing the coils... The very, very most important thing that you can do is keep your wires from crossing one another. Yeah. Don't cross the magnetic field in anything other than 90 or 180 degrees. If you do, you're bucking your field. You will create, and, and don't have any gaps between your wires. Let me give you a little formula here. The gaps between your wires cause what they call eddy currents. Eddy currents cause what they call hysteresis. Hysteresis is heat loss. The more heat that you produce with your coil, the more amperage it draws to operate. Yeah. The more amperage it draws to operate, the more expensive it is. Right. Just keep that in mind. Uh. That's my sermon for the day. That's uh, that's good policy.
Cam. Moose girl, I'm sorry. Poor Moosey, she's having a hard time. Flash, where you go? Get your finger out of there. Right here. Hey, don't wake me up. I was taking the nap. Wake well, up. no, I was reading. Yeah, Moose, I understand. But I'm not home to where I can see it face to face. It's different from here. Looking on. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what happened to where I'm from though. It's it's it's, it's like you guys live in the it's rough, country. Man. There's a lot of people that are really having a hard time right now. Sounds like Germany. It's uh, it's bad. Okay, I'm and, just, and like I've said many times already, is we're just now starting to see the ramifications of of all this lockdown bullshit. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. It's 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 just starting to to show up. Just I think the guy that defined essential ought to be home. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, it's essential to provide for your family one way or another. Yeah, it is. You, um, you think old Billery is ever going to pay for what he's doing? I don't. Uh, no. I think history, I think the people that call history, history are corrupt. And they tell us a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of lies. Uh, crap. Yeah, it's horrible. His End of story. Okay. His story. Oh. I no. thought he said, here's the story. <laughs> no. Flash, Flash heard, story. here's the story, and he muted out and was waiting to hear a good story. Yeah. Now you hey. got to come up with a story, Larry. <laughs> but that is mine. But, okay, but that's truly what it what it truly is. When you, yeah. I, I've told this story on the radio before. I had this job as a construction worker, and one of the jobs had girls on it and because they could paint better than men. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, but we, we all knew each other, and there was conflicts. So I'm bitching at my buddy that's running the crew, and all, he's a big shot guy. And he looks at me when I'm done talking, and he says, Lou, there's your side. And then he's screwing the girl, and he says, and then there's her side. And then there's what really happened. So I got to figure somewhere between the two of you is the truth. But right. it, it doesn't really matter. So now I got to put you on a tile job because it can't have this kind of shit going on. Right. His story right. was written by the winners. But the lesson learned is, you know, hey, yeah, because it's just what I'm going to tell you. How do you know what happened? Yep. I can tell you whatever I want to, man. I'm in control, baby. And the moral of the story is don't rock the boat or you'll get fired. Oh. That's it. I rock the fucking boat all the time. All the fucking time. Yeah. That's why you got I make on here. <laughs> I'm so disgusted with this fucking pandemic hoax fucking game these cunts are playing with me that I don't even hold back anymore. Yeah. You, yeah, I mean, the kids were out smoking the other day. <laughs> they agree with me. They know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, yeah, told them. If you don't want to know, don't don't bring it up. Yeah, they, 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 exactly. If you don't, don't want to know, don't ask me. I'm yeah. from the great America. I'm not going to hold <laughs> yeah, but the oh, generation no. that I'm talking to didn't grow up with the great America. They grew up with the one that they got now. Yeah. Because it's been like that for years. It's very bad. Yeah. So when I was growing when I went to England in the 90s and I was from America, sometimes that was some hot shit. Just because, well, you're from the States was enough to be, hey, I want to talk to you. When I was going to school, we were between first and third all the time in science and math. Now we're 30th. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And then, anyway, the stuff that we were being taught was mostly based on bullshit, anyhow. Yeah. As it turns out, medicine, politics, law. Oh, that, that law. What do you call it? The bar? Wow. I found some links 
recently that just have a better way of expressing how this stuff translates in a better fashion than I do. Because if what? you don't believe, you know, if you believe the government has got your back, then you're never going to believe what I say. What does BAR stand for? I only know the first two. British Admiralty what? It's British Registration Registry. 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 Yeah. Okay. British Accreditation Registry. And that means that when you go to the Admiralty Court, you're, you're being represented by a dipwad. <laughs> and you're a dipwad. By somebody that's versed in maritime law. But you they're playing the part. Is the dip-wad. title of nobility? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How? Did, why wouldn't I know that? I, don't know. I never had a dog named Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a hard time. Bro. So I got bored got today. Five, five minutes to go on the show too. So I put a hazmat suit on and went around chalking a big red X on random people's driveways. <laughs> you liar! <laughs> you could do that. That was the meme cowboy tech posted in there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you could do that if today. You're really you bored? Is it something you could do? Is put a hazmat suit on and go around writing big red X's on people's driveways with chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> watch the, people fucking pack their shit and move to the hills, man. <laughs> the truth of this is too much to believe. Oh man, yeah. that was funny. Uh, thank you, Cowboy Tech, for that. That was that was a good. Hey, story. Cowboy Tech. <laughs> Grim says that gets you shot around here. <laughs> Go around chalking <laughs> up for people's drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here too. Probably. Yep. Yeah. And probably <laughs> bit by a dog or two. Yep. Yeah, uh, so. Things that people do. Life is so boring in Denmark. Oh, yeah. Well, you're up there at the end of the world too, so. Yeah, we're surrounded by. We're up on a coast. Yeah. Denmark has functioning free energy machines. Yeah. Tell us all they, about it, Larry. Yeah. Uh, a young gentleman I know in his early twenties, his grandfather owned a. Uh, generating machine uh, museum and he has refurbished those machines from like the 1800s the early 1800s uh-huh. and they're producing free energy now wow and this Where museum is that? Uh, all I know is it's somewhere in Denmark Huh. We need to find that out and send Flash, our roaming intrepid reporter, to go and bring us a story. Absolutely. Plus, I, I have Danish contacts that speak the language. Yeah. Uh, uh, this young man speaks English, thank goodness. Well, plus, on top of it, though. But yeah, saying plus that. You've, got, you've got Danish yeah. speaking help. Yeah. That would be Depends awesome. I'd love yeah. to see you do that, Flash. You well, then, yep, the yeah, road then I'll, I'll see no. if I can't get his, his general location. I know I can get the museum location. Cool. No, but I'm okay with receiving, but I'm not good with going anywhere. I'm pretty much in my little hot at all. Don't tell me what to do, Mr. Stated. I said don't be a wuss. I said, boy. Go grab <laughs> I the ball. The ugly get out of your bubble. <laughs> <bubble. laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I've been staying right in my bubble, and I paint my bubble any fucking color I like. You don't, <laughs> you rainbow child. <laughs> I know, but you know, hey, it's always fun to do a uh, drop in a coil with you guys. So yeah, it is a good time. Yeah, it is. And I tried to keep some interesting notes to go along with the show. I'll send those to Grimner. Okay, yeah, and, uh, I'll get the file ready and uploaded here shortly. Right, but I'm sending him the notes, so he'll already have them. You don't have to worry about it. Cool, and cool. That way you can close out with the, the, the peace of mind knowing that this was a, a job well done. Yeah. <laughs> Another successful <laughs> dropping of the coil. <laughs> I, I just want to leave you all with one thought now, just like Red Green says. If your wife can't find you handsome, 
At least she can find you handy. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'll That'll look. work. Uh, Good night, everybody. <laughs> thanks for listening. Uh, thanks, Larry, and thanks, Rob. It's fun. I Always fun, guys. Bye. Bye.